Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are going to a store. That if you are from Greensboro, North Carolina, you may be familiar with. They are in other locations as well. It's called Ed McKay, and they sell used books, CDs, movies, a little bit of everything, honestly. They have so many books and so much music and games. I just like everything in the store. So I don't know why we've never been to Ed McKay's. I apologize for not taking you there sooner. To be fair, though, I myself have not been in an Ed McKay's since probably the mid-90s. They used to be in a totally different location back when I went there, and I remember, I still remember, I went in there looking for a Hootie and the Blowfish CD, and the guy that rang me up said, I'm so glad to see you buying this, and I said, why is that? He said, most people are coming in here to sell these things, not to buy them. <laughs> so thank you for buying one. They did have a lot of them, I remember that. Um, that was the last time I was in an Ed McKay's, so that was quite a few years ago. It was mid-90s, I believe, mid to late 90s, maybe 96, 97, somewhere in there. So it's been a little bit. But we didn't look at everything because this is a big store and the music is always a bit of a concern because of copyright issues. If there's music, I have to move along. But I picked up some stuff while I was there. One of the things I bought was this little book here, The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. Look at that. I got it for 25 cents. And it's this cute little book and it has all of these great stories in it. Look at look at all these stories for 25 cents. I thought that was fantastic. And I got season six of Doc Martin and I bought some little pins to go on my jean jacket. It's just wonderful stuff I didn't know I needed before I saw it. But I've talked enough. Let's go have a look at Ed McKay's. So we come over here, we have little stuff. Look, you can get little figures. This is right up near the front, see? And I saw on a, a sign on the front door that in early, early 2024, they are moving to a new location, which is very cool. I didn't know that. You can get a Hello Kitty boa. I guess it's, it's like, tool and little bows. How cute. We just have all kinds of little, ooh, that is, I like this. This is only three dollars. Like I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. I love this. It's, you know, the Wizard of Oz. Aim to keep this bathroom clean. Your aim will help. Look at all these little thingies over here. We have a car or a truck. How cool. Oh, look at this. It's a, what is like a thimble? Like a little thimble, I don't know. I like it. And you can get hats. We have a thing here that shows us like local stuff and business cards. Yeah, more things. Now I haven't been in Ed McKay's in many years. I, I haven't, I feel bad. I haven't been here in ages. I feel like I've been missing out. Look at all these people. What is this? Now, I, I am very ignorant when it comes to this kind of stuff. I'm afraid I don't know who most of these people are. They are just... Oh, here are some little Lego people. Look at this. What a Lego minifigures. Here's one. Oh, that's Minecraft. I know that. The rest of it, I don't know. Oh, look at... Th this is a, a painting. That is pretty. $9.95. Iron Man. Nice. Okay. What do we have? Oh, you could get keyboards and microphones and turntables. Two turntables and a microphone. <laughs> Lego Technic sets. Oh, she's exciting. Look at that. So this is a bookstore. You can actually find books and stuff, but I like to look at all the little gadgets. See, they have their own little label for just little baggies of stuff. Here's Robin Hood's hat. That's what it looks like. It may not be. Of course, uh, 
Cinderella. There's Belle back there. It's a little pin. Look at that. It's a little bento box with erasers. Oh, look at these loot pins. These are all pins. Oh, this one's cute. Look at this one. It's a little pin. And a keychain. It's early. Talk slowly, you small birds. Is that a pin? I think these are the little doodahs that go in your your crocs. Little poppers. Look at these Harry Potter people. Huh. Here we have some figures here. Look at all these figures. My goodness. Look at they have wrestling people as well. Look at this one. Oh, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Interesting. And we have a spider web. And it comes with four spiders. 95 cents. You can get a Carolina Panthers can koozie. You can. Um, what are these, like, games? or I don't know what these are. Here's a Mortal Kombat person. The Witcher. Jas Jaskier. Look at this crazy little Mickey Mouse. What in the world? It's a Funko thing. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Look, you can make your own minifig. You pick your minifig and two accessories. Bag and pay. $2.95 each. You, oh, oh my gosh. I'm really glad my younger son's not here. Here's a Lego piece puller. You pop your pieces apart. Those things are great. And we have cards. We have DOS. If you like Uno, you could get DOS. They even have some Walking Dead cards. Just, oh, look at all these cards. And we have more. I'm going to assume most of these are like some sort of game. Gosh, look at all these games. And we have a car from American Graffiti. Race cars. Joe Nemechek. Here's a muscle car from Johnny Lightning. Look at all these Hot Wheels cars. Now, there's more. Look down there. So you go down there, and you can get more stuff. Look at the glutes on that man. You have a nice butt. Yep, yeah, we have... So I'm assuming the people who buy these know who and what they are. Look at that hamburger. That's uh, Fortnite. I know that's Fortnite. I've, I've seen that. My younger son used to play that a lot. He doesn't play it so much anymore. You can get some child size stripey knee highs. Keanu Reeves. Who is that? No, it's not. He's upside down. I don't know. Anyway. I'm old. I don't know who these people are. They're very interesting. They look like they live action-packed lives as they languish in a plastic bag. Oh, Squishmallows. Look at this one. Oh, watermelon. Oh, here's a tie-dyed one. Look at this one. Oh. <laughs> That's precious. They have some big ones up here. Oh, wow. That is a big old fella. Look at this. Oh. Here's a, like a little Halloween looking one here. What's this? It's a uh, Chewbacca. Took me a second. Now you can get a shirt. Look, you can get a McKay's t-shirt. We have uh, video games. Yes. And then we have controllers in here. Behind, ooh, look at this one behind the glass. There's a clear one. Wow. Little carry cases. Oh, busted glass. I didn't do that. Your cooling fans, if you want to build your own computer, you could get parts. We have cameras. Nice. And here we have more games. These are like your traditional games over here, like... 
Oh, what do we have? Candyland. This one is the DVD game. Upside down. Funky monkeys. <laughs> Peanut surprise slides. Yahtzee Jr. Gosh, don't they have a bunch? There's apples to apples. This is a great game. We have that at home. It's a lot of fun. And so you can get little baskets and you can shop till you drop. We have all different versions of the Monopoly, the Classic Edition, Dukeopoly, the Big Bang Theory Monopoly, gosh, and a witch, a hinged witch. <laughs> Look at all these games. Have you ever? What's, oh, and they have Funko Pops. Look at all the Funko Pops. I have two Funko Pops that I got for Christmas one year from one of my kids. I have the one that is um, Mr. Rogers and Bob Ross. These are not those. Dr. Raymond Stamps. Is that? Yeah, Ghostbusters. Yeah. The Collector. That vampire, Mr. Burns. <laughs> Thor. I know who some of them are. Not too many. Zombie Alpaca. Michael Corleone. Wow. How much are these? They're probably all different prices, if I had to guess. $15.95 for that one. Yeah, wow. Look, there's Batman down there. Oh, God, that's a scary Batman. What happened to him? A zombie land Batman. Hello Kitty Tennis. This one plays tennis. This one's $13.95. Richie from Happy Days. $13.95. Dolores from Westworld. Wow. Look at all that. Okay. Oh, and we have more games. Look, the games just keep going and going, and they're held together by rubber bands. That's small, especially since they're on their side. Double shutter. Shut the super box. Never heard of that. We have a Ouija that glows in the dark. A glow-in-the-dark Ouija board. Worst case scenario survival game. I've played that. Gosh. Netflix has a game. Did you know that? I didn't know that, but I do now. Here's the travel size apples to apples, I guess. Cranium dark. Poker chips. This one's on the floor. What is it? It's that lady. I can never remember her name. What do you mean? Fake news, real news, your worst nightmare. <laughs> what happens if I go this way? Wow. The last time I came to Ed McKay's, they were in a totally different place. There's John Lennon. Big, are these big Funko Pops? What? Big Funko. There's Wonder Woman. Big. Well, shoot. She's small, but there's a, a comic book in there. Get Batman and Robin. I'm oh, sorry, Green Lantern and Batman. I'm old. Give me a break. These are giant. Look at these humongous. $25.95. There's Big Boy, the Big Boy restaurant. Shoney's Big Boy. Sorry, Bob's Big Boy. It's called Shoney's. We used to have Shoney's Big Boy here many years ago. Hey, there's Indiana Jones. Look at that. Zombie, the thing. Huckleberry Hound. Look, it's Huckleberry Hound. There's a T-Rex. Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader. Cool. So then, okay, you come down here and we have, we have books. And you watch your step. You gotta come down the step. So, you have to look, I guess they're alphabetized, perhaps. A, B, C. We have TVs, movies, comics. Smallville, who done it? Stargate, Kurt Russell and James Spader. 
So it's like you have a movie and then they, they do a, well, maybe they started with the book and then they did the movie. I don't know. We have L.M. Mercedes Lackey. Changes. Oh my gosh. These are pretty much all paperbacks. So, oh, Robert Heinlein. Look at that. No, here, God. I don't know what I'm doing. The Cat Who Walks Through Walls. That's a hardback. The Number of the Beast. What's this? Ooh, that's a cool cover. Look at that. That's so neat. Hell of a book. <laughs> Hell of a book. Cole Anderson, Time and Stars, The Atlantic Abomination by John Brunner. That's only 90 cents. That's a good little size book. Like if you were going somewhere on vacation and wanted a little book to read, that'd be perfect. Something like that. Yeah. Ender's Game, Orson Scott Card. Nice. Prison Planet, William Deeds. Cool. Robert Heinlein again. The Moon is a Harsh Mistress. John Delmas. I don't read anywhere near as much as I used to. I'll just tell you that now. Carl Sagan, There's Contact. That's a heck of a movie if you haven't seen it. I haven't read the book, but the, bo the movie is really good. Idlewild. Huh. S.M. Sterling. Dracon. Science Fiction Hall. Oh, it's got a bunch of stories in it. Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. W-A-S-P, where I come from, that's pronounced Walst. Eric Frank Russell Walst. I don't know why they say it that way. They just do. Hi, Justice. All the books you can find, you know? It's just incredible. What is this? Taco Cat Spell Backwards, a game of exploding kittens. A little board game with a cat who is also a taco. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Kushel's Dart. Mama's Kiss. Queen's Gambit. Over here we have Crusader. Gardens of the Moon. Nice. Look at the look at all the little plushes over here. Look at all these stuffed animals. Look at that little car. <laughs> Lots of oh look at all the figures. Squishmallows. Look it's um shoot. The Slim Jim guy, Randy Savage, or I don't think that's right. I don't. I don't know. Oh wow! Look at all the Legos. Oh wow! We have more little things. Here's a My Little Pony. Little bears. Somebody's been playing over here. They have an entire wall of Funko Pops down here. Over here, what do we have? Oh, these are movies. Children's stuff, family stuff. Look at all the copies of Cinderella. These are only $3.95. Are you kidding? That's fantastic. I'm going to 
come here the next time I'm looking for a movie. I have, I have this set right here, the Despicable Me set. This is only $10.95. I paid more than that. I should have come here. <laughs> that looks like a little covered wagon. What is this? $20.95. Oh, the Toy Story Trilogy. It comes in a wagon. Or you can just get them. This is four films. You can get them individually, too. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Space Jam. The Goonies and Dennis the Menace. That's an awesome set. And it's only $6.95. Wow. Look at all these movies. And we have a puzzle. Ooh, Dragon's Treasure. That's beautiful. A thousand pieces. It's only $1.95 for this cool, cool puzzle. Wow. I love that. That's so neat. So these are comedy DVDs. All the comedy DVDs, they're alphabetized, which is wonderful. Nobody's Fool. There's another movie by that name that I saw. I can't get it back in there. Nutty Professor. Oh, wow. Look at all this. So these are all comedies. This is crazy. Oh, and then we have over here more movies, DVDs and Blu-ray. We have records. These are movies. These are all movies. We have TV, like TV shows and box sets. Oh, they have Wild America for $21.95. Wow. Look at all the Walking Dead. <laughs> this is all Walking Dead right here. Taxi, the complete series. These must be expensive. Yeah, $46.95 for those. You can get Teen Wolf or Teen Mom. <laughs> Terminator. The Terror, Season 1. Upstairs, Downstairs. I have this. The Looney Tunes. Yeah, they have them at the register. $55.95. That's about what I paid for them on Amazon. I have that whole set. Here's Taxi. This is, oh, this is just the second season, but this is the complete. Okay. That 70s show. These are just the different seasons here. Yeah. Johnny Carson. True Blood. People keep saying I look like somebody on that show, but I've never, I've never watched it. Oh, and these are records. No, no, laser discs. Look at that. It's amazing. These are horror movies. There's a horror movie called Cabin Fever. I wonder if... Yeah, Cabin Fever. It's awful, but one of the attorneys I used to work with played a bit part at the end of this movie. They filmed it, at his, a lot of it, at his parents' farm. It's like rated R, but he has, he actually has a bit part at the end. He plays the doctor at the end of the movie. <laughs> so a little bit of trivia. So we have Dragon Ball Z, what is an anime? And we have Funko Pops too. Mad Lax. Not familiar with, it. why is that one turned wrong? Just want to watch the world. I don't know diddly squat about anime, so I, I can't really... Don't ask me to pronounce any of that, because I can't. The Simpsons. Look at this box. Oh, isn't it cute? This is just the sixth, sixth season. Of course, if you had a box set of all the seasons, it'd, be, it'd take up the whole shelf. What are they up to? Like 36? Oh, look at this Futurama. You get the complete series. The discs are at the register. Candyman. Ooh. Yeah, they do have books. Somehow I just got into looking at movies. Little House on the Prairie. Look at all the Little House on the Prairie. Lost in Space. And then we do have, we have more books. We have Young Adult, New Arrivals. 
LGBTQI+, WXYZ, Fifth Wave. The music's a little bit louder back here for copyright reasons. I have to be careful about the music. We have classic and modern poetry. It's a book of Walt Whitman. William Carlos Williams, poems. Harvard classics. They have lots of poetry. All of this. All of this is poetry. Wow. Look at all this poetry. We have a big book of Bob Dylan lyrics from 1961 to 2012. Emily Dickinson. Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot. I love the, the song of the Jellicles. That and the J. Alfred Prufrock, the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. I don't know why those two just stuck with me. They just, they did. Some spooky music over here. <laughs> These are all biographies. So if you want to find a biography on somebody, you could come over here. You'll probably find it. <laughs> Travel guides. Love and Rockets covers and this is fourteen dollars for this big old hardback book oh that is cool look at that they're so groovy i don't want to mess it up so we have here's a big picture book of dolls portraits of the golden age North carolina then and now there's High Point University, a whole book of that. Mythology and folklore. If you don't know how to do the sex, you can find that out over here. <laughs> you can get advice to do the sex. Beauty and fashion, entertaining. We have a lot of idiots guides. Playgroups, being the father of the bride, being the mother of the bride. Huh. 101 things to do with your Christmas elf. 75 cents. You know what you do with him? You take him back to the store and say, take this cursed thing. So they have different things that you can stage for your little elf. I reckon. Puzzles. Also, these are like little brain teasers. IQ puzzles and all kinds of things. What's this one? Would you rather, oh, it's a, a stocking stuffers. Would you rather wear smelly socks for Christmas or smelly underwear? <laughs> Would you rather have teeth white as snow or ma marry Snow White? I'd marry her if she keep my house clean. Keep all the damn birds outside. Lionel trains. They have a pocket price guide of Lionel trains. 1901 to 2017. For eight dollars and eighty cents. So these are just price guides like comic books, stamps, neato. And then we have antiques, collectibles. What's this big book? Zen and the Art of Mountain Bike. <laughs> a play on the title Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. <laughs> Which I read many, many, many years ago. <laughs> many many years ago outdoor recreation wow look at all this the complete walker the third hiking new jersey you know hiking is great i don't, don't want to do it in new jersey well, that's just a little bit too much adventure for me i don't believe i can handle it I have had something happen in here today that in all my years of making videos in stores has never happened before today. A man literally just walked by me. Oh, my mom used to have that book. I'm okay, you're, you're okay. She had that. A man literally just walked by me and muttered, huh, she's talking to herself. So are you. <laughs> Professional psychology. It's not out of the back of a truck psychology professional psychology my gosh and we have financial advice finance oh my stars the music over there was a little loud I had to move look at all these 
These are all children's books. Look, they have the Magic Treehouse books. Little Little Sister Babysitter's Club. Magic School Bus. Oh my goodness. How much are these? Like, what if I wanted a Magic Treehouse book? They're only a dollar ninety-five each. Oh my older son, he had all of these. My younger son never really cared for them, but he read all of the series of unfortunate events books. Captain Underpants, <laughs> Cam Jamson, A to Z Mysteries, and then they have some other, these are all children's books as well. Look at all these books. This place is big. It's really big. We have middle grade, young adult classics. Wow. Little Women. The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. This is only a quarter you could get this book for a quarter. Shoot. Count of Monte Cristo. Great Expectations. Oh, man. Stories from Dickens. Tom Sawyer. The Jungle Books. Louisa May Alcott, Little Men. Wow. We have graphic novels. Young adult graphic novels. <laughs> dog Man. Oh my both of my kids love Dog Man. They had a bunch of the Dog Man books. How much are they? Cat Kid. These are $8.50. That's about what they were new. They weren't much. $8.25. Yeah, they were maybe they were like $10 each. We have more TV series. This is here's Friends. Get to get the different seasons. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. How much is that? Forty-seven ninety-five. That's but that's like the whole set. Full House. Doctor Who. How old are these Doctor Who's? Not very. The Daleks. Oh my gosh. Doctor Who. Got any of the Tom Baker Doctor Who's? I don't know. I don't know if they do. Oh my God, Doc Martin! I love that show. I have I have a box set of of Doc Martin, but I don't have these newer seasons. Eight ninety five. This one's only season five's only two ninety five. I don't think I have that one. Season seven is thirteen ninety five, and they have the Doc Martin movies. That's such a great show. So you come over here, and this is where we have music, vinyl, and CDs. Look at all these records. Wow. Aerosmith. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Almond Brothers. Oh, well, that's nice. Now, some of these are kind of pricey. Some of them aren't bad. Leaders of the pack is only a dollar ninety five. Beach Boys. This one's eleven ninety five for the Beach Boys. The sun's shining in my eyes. Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife, eleven ninety five. these records have you ever god it's tons of records lighter than air 295 Roberta Flack what have you got what have you got I don't have a record player I don't know why I'm looking at these quiet fire I don't. I don't have a record player, and I kind of wish I did. Oh, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Sweet Bitter Love. She's so great. We even have the Coyote Ugly soundtrack on vinyl. Don't we, though? Eurythmics. Miami Vice, look at that, eight ninety five. You can get the Miami Vice record. Bill Cosby. We won't comment on that. Forrest Gump. You can get the soundtrack to Forrest Gump for 
pumping iron to the women. She looks surprised, like, oh, I didn't see you there. Have a look at my crotch. <laughs> so, she does, look at her. <laughs> Sorry, shut up. <laughs> my God, what is wrong with me? We have Elton John, Honky Chateau. That didn't even look like him. I don't know why it just didn't. Madman across the water. Wow, got a bunch. Look at that. Captain Fantastic. That's all right. Several of those. Rock of the Westies. That one is $7.95. I have a record at home that I would like to play. It's um, It was a record that was put out by Cricket Magazine, which is a children's literary magazine. And I had the cassette tape when I was a kid. And there are several songs, and there's a reading of a poem on there from T.S. Eliot that I'd really like to hear again. But I don't have a record player. <laughs> you can get a guitar. That's $80.95. Or an electric guitar for $84.95. Look at these beautiful drums. We have Richard Pryor. Oh, this is comedy, so we're back into the comedy section. There's Joan Rivers. Look at that. Bill Cosby again. Jerry Clower. I got to see Jerry Clower live. When I was in high school, he came to Albemarle, North Carolina, and I got to see him. I did. It was pretty, he was funny, it was, it was a good show. Tom Jones, Peggy Lee, Harry Belafonte, Paul Anka, Burt Bacharach, John Kirby, there's George Burns Sings. Look at him, look at him. Two ninety five. Oh God, the, the Carpenters, you know I love the Carpenters. What have you got? There's George Burns again. Ticket to Ride. Oh my God, look at them. That's only $3.95. That's probably what it costs new. And Natalie, Natalie Cole, yep. Natalie Cole. Nat King Cole, that is $7.95. And his trio, Unforgettable, that one is $7.95. And there's Natalie again back there. Yeah. We have cases over here for your stuff, uh, musical stuff. We have shirts. What kind of shirts do we have? Oh, fun. Look at these. Look at, I like that one. <laughs> these are fun. We have a bunch of Superman shirts, Batman, Mickey Mouse, whoever that is. <laughs> These are great. What a strange variety of stuff. You could just come in here and buy all kinds of things. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Harry Potter. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they have a whole big rack of shirts and costumes of sorts. Here's a shirt with a deer on it for $4.95. Hmm. Oh, the Minions. Oh my God, the Minions have the TARDIS. Look at that. <laughs> it's only $3.95. It's from T Fury. T Fury. That's adorable. I love that. Oh my God. Well, they have a police call box. I, it doesn't have to be the TARDIS. That's just what I thought when I saw it. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Interesting shirts. And then we have music. These are CDs. So you could come back here and spend all day looking. And they have New Age, Easy Listening, Rock and Pop, Rock and Pop, Pop Rock Collections, Pop Rocks. There's a Dan in real life. So do they have sound, they have soundtracks to movies and stuff? Yes, they do. How about that? 
Wow, you could get 50s, the 50s party pack, second edition 3D set. That's only a dollar ninety-five. And you get stuff like Tutti Frutti, Stagger Lee, Blueberry Hill, Crying in the Chapel, Blue Suede Shoes. Look at all these songs. You get all that for a dollar ninety-five. That's great. I have a CD player in my car. I've just re recently been listening to some of my old CDs in there. It's great. I have this on squirrel nut zippers. They're so great. This is one of my favorite CDs right here. I actually have this CD in my car at this moment. I could have gotten it here for $1.95. I bought mine on eBay for like $6 because my old one stopped playing. What about Cherry Poppin' Daddies? Do you think they have anything by them? Rock and Pop, Roy Orbison. And see, you just have to come and just look through. I mean, I could spend hours in here looking at the books and the movies and stuff. What is this? These are sets. Here's one of the Temptations. I think these are CD sets or records. My Chemical Romance, The Monkeys, Megadeth, <laughs> John Mayer. Golly, Pete. Look at all these CDs. And then over here, this is jazz, and they have reggae over there, Celtic, blues. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this Earth, Wind, and Fire set. This is $18.95. The Eternal Dance. That's awesome. bands I have never heard of in my life. Never heard of them. Kelly Clarkson, Chubby Checker. Wow. Ray Charles, Harry Chapin. I'm looking for Cherry Poppin' Daddies. I don't know why I'm looking for it. I don't need it. I have it. Eric Clapton. It doesn't matter. I was just curious to see if they had it. Chain smokers. Wow. There's just tons of them. If you ever. Oh, look at this cover. This is cool. The Horseshoe Curve. Trey Anastasio. That is such a groovy cover. Look at that. That is neat. It's only $3.95. I tell you, I love it. I love this place. This is great. The Rolling Stones. Oh my goodness. We didn't even look at everything. But we looked at a lot of it. We have... These are all Christmas movies. All these are... This is just two whole sets of Chris, shelves of Christmas movies. Bad Santa, too. <laughs> Zumba. Oh, we have sports. Zumba is sports, I guess. Insanity. Yeah, it is insanity, because you get about halfway through that workout, and you think you've lost your freaking mind. Documentaries. Wow. So much. And then we have some toys. We have all kinds of toys and whatnot. Man. Over here we have, these are more puzzles. You can get all, look, there's a puzzle of the Civil War, a thousand pieces. God. Twinkle, twinkle. You can get a, an LOL ball. Chewbacca. <laughs> I love this place. I love it. So we're, we're actually back to the books. I had to skip a bunch of the books because the music is loud over there, but they have tons and tons of books in here too. Oh, tons of books. It's amazing. This place is absolutely fantastic. I imagine they're going to have a hard time moving all this stuff. 
Sounds like they're moving next year to a whole new location though. That's pretty cool. I think we came in this way. Yeah. So that is just a little look around part of Edna Kay's books and music and more. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed our, our little walk through Ed McKay's today. It's so much fun. I'm definitely going to have to go back more often because it's just such a neat place to go in and walk around because I imagine every time you go, it's different. You're going to see stuff you didn't see before. It's a wonderful place and they are moving. I heard that they're moving to a new, a whole new build and a whole new location in Mebane near the Tanger Center next year. So maybe after they get moved, maybe we'll have to go check it out and see what their new location looks like. So it's not going to be a second location. They're just moving. So they're actually, I guess, going out of Greensboro to Mebbin, which isn't too far away. But we may have to go check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.